My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. What's up everybody? This is Classic Cars and Comics. On this series, we are going to be remodeling, rebuilding a travel trailer that was built in 2007 by KZ. It is a Durango 325SU. Okay, so this is the Dr. Brush All-Purpose Power Scrubber Cleaning Kit. It comes with four pieces. Like I said, there's three brushes and an extension. The extension is super handy. I used this to clean my sink. I used it to clean the shower. And then I also used it to clean the toilet. So stay tuned for a review of that and how I used it. So before any painting begins, I got to really get in here and clean this shower. It is extremely dirty as you can tell. So I use a little bit of this green spray. Um, to get in there start getting things broken down and cleaned up I got it clean that's for sure I'll get a towel and mop that up I was really impressed with how easily this cleaned some of the things that I attempted to you know clean it cleaned it really quickly with relative ease. I mean, I've never used anything like this before, but I mean, just look at that. I mean, we're not talking about it's crystal clean at this point, but my goodness, that cleaned off that mess pretty quick, fast, in a hurry. So I'm going to continue to use that to clean the things in the trailer. Okay. Some more simple green. We'll spray right up in there, see if we can remove this dark stuff, and then right in there as well. In any of my video that has cleaning using this brush, I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit just to help you all out. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to see what it looks like on the sink. You can see that there's some scuff marks and just some debris and stuff. So I'm going to squirt it on there. Squirt it around in here. and get to spinning. This might be too deep. They might be actual scratches. Yeah, this is where the plastic has been scratched. So that can't be fixed, but you know, you at least know what it'll do. Man, and she fell off. That shined up real nice. Whoopsies. Didn't need to do that. Crap. At this point, I'm falling more and more in love with this little brush. I'll just wipe this out and come back and look at it. Not bad, not bad. You can see where I did not hit with the brush. Clearly see that right there. And you can see up here where I did, and uh, way smoother. So, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Worth the money so far. So I think I'm gonna start off by trying to take this off and then do a paint test on it if I can get it undone. I think this is also how I'm gonna access being able to remove the plumbing or the fixtures or faucet or whatever. Nope. A little tape right there. Normally, a little heat gun or something like that be able to come in here and I might have to do that tomorrow. Sorry, bad recording here. But someone's put some kind of 3M adhesive tape on here. So, I'm gonna have to get maybe a heat gun and heat that up and it should pop right off. So I didn't use a heat gun, I just used uh, Impatience. And uh, you can clearly see the glue and stuff that's there, the sealant. Um, so 
but this will give me access to the handles and whatnot and uh, it'll also give me a good test piece to paint you can see what color it's supposed to be okay i've removed where the shower head would, was supposed to be and like i said i mean you can cl clearly see what the original color of this was supposed to be now there's also this random hook over here i don't know what this is for but i'm about to take that off and then i'm going to get up under here and this is just a twist it's just a literally there's like a knob in there i'll try to show you what it looks like in there so you just reach up there with your big old bear paws and just start unscrewing it so i'm assuming once you've unscrewed both those it should lift up and away but maybe not so there's just some more little additional nuts in there that you gotta remove and then that should pull out. Okay, so with both these removed, this should just lift straight out. Okay, looks like we're ready for a good thorough cleaning and uh, some good old paint. Hopefully change this shower light. Okay, this is going to be my test piece. I've already went in there and cleaned that little clear bar, but I just wanted to mask it all off so I didn't have to worry about clearing, clearing off that bar. And I put the first coat of paint on, waited 10 minutes, put the second coat on, and then shortly thereafter I let it dry, and then I removed the tape, and this is what we got. Okay, here's the finished product. This is two coats of paint, 10 minutes apart. Um, it turned out pretty good, I think. Now. You see this right here, that's a, like a little hairline crack in the plastic. Um, but I have not put any clear over this yet. It's just two coats of paint. I'm gonna clear it all hopefully at the same time. That way, hopefully it's consistent. In retrospect, I wish I would have bought this product called Lime Away. I use it later on in the video after I've already painted this, but that would have really, I think, helped clean up this cloudiness, this hard water stain that's on the windows. Um, it would have just made my job a little bit easier. I did end up getting them pretty clean, but not like I would have with the Lime Away. So I really wish I would have known about that product beforehand and used it going in, but I didn't. And so I'll have to go back in and, and still clean those glasses again. They're just really stained. I cleaned this window with that simple green plus that power brush. Now it does a really good job. I'm not trying to discount it. Um, you can still see there's some cloudiness on it and that's from the other side, but you can see the top part that I have done and the bottom part, comparatively speaking, is a lot cleaner, okay? I use that little flat brush for this um, and the simple green. So I use that simple green to clean a lot of the stuff in the trailer so far. Okay, so Here's one last look before I start getting to paint. Got everything taped off and uh, about ready to roll. Gotta pull this down, probably get a new one or sand it and then paint it. All right, let's get rocking. Now I did wear a mask for this because you're in confined quarters, you need to do something to save your lungs. And this spray, it goes everywhere. Um, it had drifted out into our hallway, uh, part of the bedroom a little bit. You need to really be cautious and careful when doing this. You always wanna spray paint outside if you have that option. Obviously, I didn't have the option with this, but just food for thought, okay? Now this is where I come in and do my second coat. You could see on that first coat as I was talking that there's some yellow trying to shine through. Now this is the sun coming in a little bit, but that yellow is trying very hard to try to peek through. So you just need to 
monitor that, make sure your lighting is good. I brought in some other lights at different points to be able to see and really try to get that yellow knocked out, okay? I mean, I even had to go back in after filming this and knock that yellow down just a little bit more before I got in there and cleared. So once I was satisfied with everything, I put at least a couple coats, maybe three coats of clear coat on there. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect, but my goodness, it looks way better. I even come in and fix a couple things on this after this video, but it looks so much more presentable now. So much cleaner, so much nicer. I really like how it turned out. Let's go clean the toilet. Okay, it is tidy bowl man time. Let's look at this wonderful, oh Lord have mercy. It is a little bit dirty uh, to say the least, but hey, I've seen worse. I've seen better, so we're going to see what miracles we can work and uh, get all this good stuff cleaned up. I am going to use Lime Away on this. I don't know if that's going to help, but it dang sure ain't going to hurt. Now, I chose to use this wand first. We use these on all of our toilets in the house and in the shop, but um, they usually work out pretty well. And then I just... Gonna use this old faithful brush and see what we can't do. And I go slow motion. Boom, look at that. Look how much cleaner that is, that's amazing. This brush is well worth every penny we spent on it. Now I'm not saying it's not getting a little worn at this point, but um, it's done an amazing, amazing job. So, the wife had initially planned on replacing this toilet just due to it obviously being dirty, as you can tell, but I said, let me see if old handyman can get in here and get her clean, and look at that. It's so much cleaner now. Uh, throne worth setting on, boys and girls, yeah! So that's probably going to need plumber's tape. That's the problem there. And we're going to just go ahead and cut that off. Okay, I actually didn't go and get plumber's tape. See that little hole right back there? I guess that's made to 
to automatically leak like that so that there's no pressure that builds up. And maybe this is an outside faucet, I don't know. But I, I bet that's to not over pressurize it. I'm gonna put it back on and try again. Okay, that's exactly what that is. It's like a pressure deal. So this is working just fine now. I just, I didn't know. And it, I guess it's just gonna weep a little bit right there. Which is what it's supposed to be doing. So shower is up and running again. And it looks a lot nicer. I even got out here and painted on the outside. So I even did up this little small crack right there. So let's just hope it holds up. Now I didn't see any water coming from like the tube area. That's why I haven't put that back on yet. But let me try turning this on again and we'll just make sure that there's no leaks up there. So here we go. any leaks it's very very minor you always want to check everything before you get everything buttoned back up you don't want to have to start digging back into everything because i might have to put some silicone right across this ridge here like it was originally so good I'm glad this is working all right let's see what it all looks like now still a little bit wet from where i uh installed the shower head but man so much nicer i've already siliconed in that section right there it looks so much nicer. That is, in my opinion, night and day different. Really, really like how this come out. Now that hose will eventually relax a little bit and uh, it'll be fine. Now we still have to put up stuff up there and then I need to fix that sunroof. But uh, yeah, come out really nice.